What I've noticed when a guy first finds out that his wife is not faithful or that she might be talking to another guy at work, she's usually a coworker. Usually she'll get like a promotion and they'll be a coworker. And because it's easy and convenient, she's talking to him all the time. At some point they start talking about their lives. And then as she starts to trust him, she starts talking about how she feels about things and how she feels about things at home. And then this guy at the time is probably not getting any attention at home either. It's probably in a sexless marriage. And so you got two starving people. Now they start to come together and they think, oh wow, somebody's connecting with me. This is more than I've had forever. And what they'll do is they'll mistakenly think that that one dimension of the relationship is the whole thing. And then they'll jump on that thing. And this is what I've been missing my whole life. If I just had that, I can have whatever. Failing to realize that the other 90% of the relationship with you is actually the compatible part. It's just this one dimension that's not working. That's the connection. They're feeling heard and understood and taken seriously for what they're saying. Now, that's not to say that all women are good communicators. A lot of women are piss poor communicators, just like men. Like men will bottle stuff up and women will deflect. They won't even really allow him to know what's going on. And so this allows her to stay as a martyr and as a victim and not actually get a solution to the problem. And really that's exactly what she needs to do. She needs to go into that fearful state, dive into it, feel it fully, and then allow the guy to actually come in and try something. Or she'll beat him over the head trying to tell him and he doesn't care. Listen, because he's coming to the situation where he's complacent and he doesn't think that anything bad will happen. So if you're in a situation like this where your partner can't open up to you, can't talk to you, let me know what's going on.